How to get scam pets back on Adopt Me. Hello and welcome back to another video here on Block Status. And today we'll be taking a look at the new Adopt Me update that lets you back your stolen pets. Stay tuned and watch as you will know what you need to do to recover your stolen pets by the end of the video. Before we start with the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates on our channel. So let's now go on with the video. So, say someone in your account has been compromised. They've gone and traded all your pets away. Well, now it's possible for every single one of those pets back, as long as you have some evidence that you have been hacked. However, you first need to make sure your account is secured to, in order to avoid hacking in the first place and don't fall for the major scams like fake Roblox games and scam links. Recently, Adopt Me announced in their weekly news that they're introducing a new system to go and get your pets back. On the new Roblox Adopt Me website, they will tell you what to do in your, when your account is hacked. It says, what are the common signs that I've been hacked? There are certain things that you need to do to tell that your account has been hacked, such as logging in, you notice some of your pets or all of your rare pets have gone missing. You have a Robux purchase or Game Pass purchase that you do not remember purchasing or our account details have been changed without your permission. There are some things that could happen if your account has been hacked. Go and check your trading license and check out some of your more recent trades and see if something's suspicious, then it is a scam. First, what you need to do is report it and write out what happened. There are certain options to report, but doing this merely is not going to get your pets back. There's a guide on the official Adopt Me website that's going to tell you what to do when your account is hacked. Your first step is to set up a new and secure password, because if they got your password, they can literally go and log on whenever they want. So you might need to change your password first and foremost. Now the password you might be using the same for other accounts, so make sure you change your password on everything so that these other accounts are safe. The guide on the website briefly describes what you need to do to set up a new secure password. The next step is to enable two-factor verification. What this means is that you need to log into your email account. So whenever you're logged into Roblox on another device, Roblox will send you an email asking whether it was you who logged in. No one else can log into your account this way since if someone does, you will immediately receive an email asking if it was you who logged in and if it wasn't you, you can immediately disallow permission to anyone who is trying to log into your account. The website also tells you how to prevent being hacked again by making sure that you have two-step verification enabled, keeping your details private and not telling anyone your password, be it a friend or a stranger. Make sure you don't click on suspicious links that claim to be the official website. Remember the official website starts with www and only has three ways. Anything other than this is a scam website and if you log in with your details, they'll end up storing your username and password and gain access to your account. Finally, the best news is that Roblox can potentially recover stolen items if you report to Roblox within 30 days of your account being hacked. Adami will offer you a one-time reversal, meaning it'll refund you with all of the items or pets that have been stolen through trades or otherwise. Now, they do not mention how they're going to do that after your pets have been traded by someone else. Will they delete the pets from their inventory and add it to yours? We honestly do not know. But it seems to be a big update and we're waiting to see what happens when the Adopt Me will start putting into practice what they mention into their account. What do you guys think about all this? Do you think that this is a good update? Have you ever been scammed before? Please let us know your thoughts and comments in the section below. With that, we wrap up our video. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to check us out for other videos. Also, press like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any amazing video from us. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. Thanks for watching, and we will definitely see you all in another video.